The New York Jets coming back to New York? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video. And today I want to talk about an interesting article that I saw online today. Before we get started today, I wanted to mention where you can follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast wherever it is that you get your show. So according to an article by the Legal Sports Report, Senator Joe Adobo wants the New York Jets to come back to New York. I like the idea that I am biased because I am a New York Jet fan. and I know the fans in Jersey probably don't want to hear that. But if you're unfamiliar with who Joe is, he is the chair of the New York State's Racing, Gaming, and Wagering Committee. So you might have seen a few weeks ago, NYCFC set this plan to build a 25,000 seat stadium at Willits Point that could potentially open up in 2027. So that's still like five years away. But he wants them to think a little bit bigger picture. He wants them thinking about a 70 to 80,000 seat stadium, which would be interesting. Uh, there was also talks about putting a casino in that area as well. So the potential idea of having City Field, where the Mets play, that stadium, that would I, I would imagine would be for the Jets and NYCFC and hotel and or potentially hotel slash casino would be a major development because in that area right now, it was basically just City Field and a bunch of automobile, you know, garages and stuff like that. So uh, interesting to be reading about that. I don't know how true, not true, but I don't know how likely, I guess, is the better way to put it. I don't know how likely it is that the Jets do get a stadium in that area. That would seem like a, a pipe dream, but could you imagine what it would be like to have the Jets, the Mets, NYCFC, and like a developed area over there with a sports book or a casino and a hotel, that'd be a really cool little sports hub for New York. And they're really trying to grow uh, the New York betting scene here, which is uh, very obvious. And, and Joe Adobo obviously has a lot to do with that, but the jets have a lot of ties to the area. So it makes sense for them to go to that spot. If they were to return to New York, they play it at Chase stadium, which is located in the city field parking lot right now from 1964 through 1983 before moving to the Meadowlands. And they practiced at Hofstra University from 1968 to 2008. So the Jets are very much a Queens and Long Island team. They have a ton of fans from Queens and Long Island because of their association um, you know, with, with the area for that long. Again, it's been a while. They haven't played their home games in Queens since the early 80s. They stopped practicing at Hofstra about 15 years ago now, uh, and most of their stuff has been uh, in New Jersey ever since. So again, I don't know if they would potentially do a move like that, but it's something that I know a lot of people would like, and it does make sense in the when you bring into account uh, the history there. So let me know your thoughts. Do you want the Jets to get their own stadium, and do you like the idea of a stadium being built in Willits Point for the Jets? Let me know. Sound off below. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Matt O'Leary. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you next time.